Pope Francis on Pentecost Sunday warning Catholics that focusing on the past risks making faith a museum piece. This morning, it is his present and future that has the rumor mill rolling. The Vatican announcing over the weekend the Pope will visit the Italian city of L'Aquila, home to Pope St. Celestine V, who resigned in 1294, and more recently where Pope Benedict made a symbolic gesture in 2009, before announcing his own resignation four years later. Associated Press Vatican correspondent Nicole Winfield says some are reading meaning into the trip. We now have Pope Francis also making a pilgrimage to L'Aquila, maybe, perhaps, or maybe not, the Pope might have in the back of his mind that at some point he might also resign. Francis will make the trip the day after he holds a formal assembly called a consistory to create 21 new cardinals. 16 are under the age of 80 and eligible to choose his successor, including American Cardinal designate Robert McElroy of San Diego. Francis will have chosen the vast majority of cardinal electors. It could just be coincidence, um, but at the same time, you can't ignore uh, the facts when they present themselves, but with a grain of salt, knowing that this is a pope, he can do whatever he wants. Might that be another reason to step aside? There's nothing insidious about these appointments. It's just business. It's logical and it's normal. At 85, Francis endures physical challenges, also fueling speculation. He underwent colon surgery last summer and suffers from sciatica. He recently started using a wheelchair because of pain in his right knee. I don't think the being in the wheelchair has affected his papacy whatsoever. What can dismiss all this speculation, some experts believe, is the presence of Francis' predecessor, Pope Emeritus Benedict. I don't think Pope Francis is going to resign while Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI is still alive. It's confusing enough that people think that there are two popes. Now, despite all the speculation, Pope Francis has given no sign of stepping down. He plans to go to Kazakhstan in September, and he's working on implementing his reforms to the Vatican bureaucracy, including setting term limits for priests working in the Vatican and allowing women to head Vatican offices. He's got a full plate in front of him. Yeah. Thank, all right. thank you very thank much. You. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.